What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another Anthem video for you guys today and today in this video we'll be taking a look at what weapons are best suited for each of the Anthem Javelins. Now in the Anthem beta there are four Javelins currently at the moment so we'll be going through these four Javelins and seeing which weapons are best suited for what class. So first off we are starting with the Interceptor which is the speediest out of the four Javelins. You can see here the Interceptor is the most agile and acrobatic Javelin a Lancer can find. In the right hands the Interceptor's speed is unmatched. Now the Interceptor is all about getting up close and personal in the enemy's faces and pretty much just milling them down. You can see here that you pretty much just want to go in there and melee as much as possible. Now, for this particular Javelin, weapons that you want to focus on are pretty much close range weaponry because as a Interceptor, you will be going right up in their face and dealing as much damage as possible with your melee attacks. So with that, you do want to capitalize on it. So for the Interceptor, you mainly want to equip shotguns and machine pistols. So you can currently see here we've got an uh, uncommon shotgun equipped. Now this one is the highest rate of fire in the shotgun class and it has two shell bursts so you know it's a great shotgun to use for up in close personal encounters because you'll be tapping off and hitting two shotgun shells into the enemy's faces which you know that's exactly what shotguns are designed to do close range devastating power. Now for the second weapon that you will equip on your interceptor it's kind of a choice. Me personally I prefer to use machine pistols because they provide quite a lot of damage in such close proximity and they can fire a crap ton which is great for keeping those guys with shields uh, right down because if they get a chance to regenerate their shields then you have to tear through their shields all over again. Machine pistols are great for shredding through those shields and maintaining their no shield status. Now there is another weapon that you could kind of equip if you want to go down that route it depends on how you want to play your interceptor whether you want to play it as a hit and run or you want to play as right in the thick of it, just melee, melee, melee. Now you could also equip a sniper rifle as your secondary weapon. Main reason being a sniper rifle is because you will need to duck out of combat in order to regenerate your shields. And while at a distance, you can actually switch off into your sniper rifle and use the sniper rifle in order to pick off targets from a distance. And it all depends on how you want to play your interceptor. But using a sniper rifle and a shotgun is definitely a go-to as well. Try it out, see which one you like the feel of more so. I personally prefer the machine pistol and the shotgun setup, but it's all up to you guys. So we're going to move on now to the Ranger. So guys, with the Ranger, the Ranger is great because it's both offensive and defensive. You know, it has both capabilities. So with that status, you can kind of mix around your weaponry with the Ranger and it all comes down to your playstyle for the Ranger. Now, me personally, I kind of like a mid-range offensive type of build. So for the Ranger weaponry, you kind of want to stick to your assault rifles, your heavy pistols, your light machine guns, your marksman rifles, those kind of things. Now that is just my personal preference. You could easily stick on two sniper rifles and act as a uh, ranger, literally, with two sniper rifles, if that's the path that you want to go down. Me personally though, like I said, I like using the assault rifles with the ranger class as well as light machine guns. Now you could easily swap these out. You could easily go assault rifle and shotgun for those close range encounters if enemies decide to get too close to you because you do have melee capabilities with the ranger as well. They aren't in anything in comparison to the interceptor but they are still there. Now, like I said, it all comes down to your personal preference. Heavy pistols are an okay weapon to use. Even machine pistols you could use for the Ranger. The Ranger is kind of like a mix of everything. So you could play it how you want to. So I don't really have a recommendation, except for probably mid-range weaponry, like I said, assault rifles, heavy pistols, even light machine guns, because they're all great weaponry for the Ranger that'll capitalize on his grenade tosses as well as his offensive uh, ability. Now with the big boy Colossus, his weaponry is on another level. Now he has exclusive weapons that only he can use and well it kind of makes sense because these weapons are gigantic. So the Colossus, I only really have two recommendations for him. The auto cannon and the grenade launcher. These are two exclusive weapons that the Colossus is the only javelin at the moment able to use these weapons. Now you could easily swap off and decide that you don't want to go with a grenade launcher and decide to go with another weapon. If you do so, I would heavily, heavily recommend either a shotgun or a light machine gun. Personally though, the shotgun is probably the better option because with the Colossus you will be getting up in the thick of it, especially with his shield charge that he has the ability to do. 
So you definitely want something to be able to capitalize on that. And once you start farming up enough materials and weaponry, you can easily get a really good bunch of shotguns in order to equip on your Colossus. The auto cannon itself though is kind of like a light machine gun already. So do take that into mind. Like if you really want to equip another one, the only main difference between the two of them is that the auto cannon has a heck of a lot more ammo than the light machine gun. As well as that, it is also able to fire at a higher rate and it has more ammo. So, you know, you kind of just want to use the auto cannon over the light machine gun, but both options are there for you to use. You can make these mechs however the heck you want, but these are my recommendations, especially for the Colossus, since he gets the two exclusive weapons, the assault, the auto cannon, and the grenade launcher. I would definitely capitalize on both of those two and equip him with those weapons. Now we come to my favorite javelin, the Storm. The Storm is a very offensive javelin. Now, for the offensive javelin, he is a very mid-range kind of class because you'll be floating up in the air, casting all the uh, blast seals and focus seals at your enemies, you know, the fire bombs, the lightning strikes, all that sort of stuff. So you want weapons that will complement this so that while your abilities are on cooldown, you can still provide a decent amount of damage to the rest of the team and, you know, contribute in a way that doesn't require your abilities. Now, for that, I would definitely recommend a marksman rifle and an assault rifle. Because of these two, the marksman rifle is kind of like a slow firing rifle. So imagine like a one shot burst. That's exactly what the marksman rifles are. And they're great for storms because, you know, you're floating at mid range and that gives you the ability to capitalize because you can just easily fire your marksman rifle off at any enemies, pop a couple of headshots and it deals a decent amount of damage. You can see there it's 174 damage just on this uh, marksman rifle anyway. And the revs per minute are 180. Something that it is lacking in a little bit is the ammo for this weapon in particular, but it's still got 12 shots before you have to reload. Now, the secondary weapon, like I said, would definitely be an assault rifle. If you don't have a single target that you want to focus on, then definitely swap over to your assault rifle because your assault rifle will allow you to deal with all the pesky little uh, mobs that you have to come face to face with. And, you know, the marksman rifle is kind of more suited to hitting a singular target, whereas the assault rifle, you can kind of just spread yourself between multiple enemies while your skills are on cooldown or even if you're using your skills at the same time. I would heavily recommend using a marksman rifle and assault rifle for the storm class. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap up the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.